welcome back to Punch Drunk ENT. You got your guys here with your Mr. Swag and Oaggy. No, I'm just Dan. And we back with another reaction video. Top 10 sketches from a show that a lot of you might not even be familiar with. If you didn't grow up in the 90s. 90s. But it's in living color. The Do jump, the jump start for a lot of black comedians' careers. In living color. Hey. In living color. Yes. A lot of people that was on SNL. This was the alternative, the more urban. raw, urban, <laughs> there you go, urban, raw, just Wayne's, just love it. Yeah, fruit, full creativity with their own thing, and you've seen it later on with the Scary Movie 1 and 2, yes. and some of uh, Keenan's early movies, what is it, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, Sucker yeah. uh, uh, oh, load on dirty shame like yep, more money and everything. Exactly. Like, all that all the went shout out to the wayne's man also shout out to jim carrey mm. shout out to they this is their start you got jim carrey you got of course all the wayne's you you saw how funny most of them are jamie um, fox jamie David fox Allen greer mm. it's, it's a lot man yes we're gonna check out the the fun, tip funniest to them according to, to watch mojo, mojo. mojo. yeah <laughs> according to watch mojo because i already had one of my like i got my own like five if i was to say let's wait and see if they're on here okay, if not okay. then we'll, we'll end with that because I, I could put five up there just based off of songs yeah you got so, well, definitely based off yeah. of songs hell yeah so let's get into it make sure you guys like this video subscribe to this channel and show your boys some love without further ado living the color now how do you feel about yourself <laughs> Yeah. Totally this, Tommy. Um, hey, forgot about Tommy Davidson. Yeah. That's why homie don't play that. Yeah, Welcome go. to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest in living color sketches. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Wanda. Now don't be ashamed just because you're a white boy. I mean, I don't mind having a little cream in my coffee. But Phil, it's our vacation. Hmm. Baby, disaster has a real good travel engine. And what is he doing now? This is what they call chillin', Alan. <laughs> well, it is kind of cold in the studio today. Oh, no, no, not that kind of chillin'. He's just relaxing and getting used to his environment. For this list, we'll be ranking the most classic, hey. enduring, and hilarious skits from the classic 90s comedy oh, show. We'll be looking at both one-off sketches eat watching. and the ones yeah. who came back to make us laugh over and over again. What's your favorite in Living Color sketch? My Let shit right here. Comments. Number 10, Defrosting Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Jim Carrey, man. Out of Carrey. all the stars in Living Color introduced to a primetime audience, a little comic by the name of white, Jim Carrey white, is baby. one of their most notable. Yo, VIP, let's kick it. <laughs> <laughs> While he had plenty of highlights on the show, he absolutely nailed it as a musical parody of Vanilla Ice and yep. his hit song, <laughs> Ice Ice Baby. Gary commits to the clothes, <laughs> hair, and outrageous <laughs> dance moves. I become richer with every endeavor. I'm living large and my bank is stupid because I just listen to real rap and stupid. He perfectly exaggerates Ice's already I wonder if Vanilla Ice is pissed about style, this. While giving us a was. musical performance we'll never forget. In a sea of excellent musical parody sketches on Unliving Color, mm -hmm. this Ice parody floats to the top. Yes. <laughs> Probably... Number I was in nine, my top three funny songs. Benita Batrell yeah. spills the tea. Gossip? <laughs> Heavens no. Benita Batrell wouldn't dream of speaking out of turn about a soul. I ain't one to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. Except that maybe the only exactly second thing I like Kim what Wayne's this doing. character did mm. to exaggerated comedic effect. Kim Wayne's encapsulates every local neighborhood gossip perfectly with this dirt dishing homebody. Benita Batrell couldn't help but speak directly yes. to Canberra about basically everyone she knows. Because it hits because everybody knows somebody like that. Yes, we do. <laughs> That's what yes, I like. It's, 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 ground, it's grounded comedy, man. You're the smartest little thing on TV. <laughs> Dumbest little thing is more like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Take her three days to watch 48 hours. The best running gag in these skits <laughs> is that she tries to avoid talking badly about Miss Jenkins, but usually slips up for one hilarious final punchline. Almost lost Miss Jenkins, honey. That was a close shave. Whew. And speaking of close shave, she could use one. Mm. That woman's got so much facial hair, she looks like Chewbacca with a weave. Number eight, karate instructor Bob uh, yep. Jackson. Jim Carrey's back again to excel at what he does better than nearly any comic out there. 
physical I'm about stunts. to say, yes. physical, physical comedy. comedy. One running the best. theme throughout yep. Carrie's various Easily. characters on In Living Color. Hold on, let's get into it. Easily the best f- in physical comedy. I think the only one that might come close to him, I would say Will Ferrell. Yeah, I'm thinking Will Ferrell, but it's like I, I, growing up, the originators of it, Three Stooges, and that's mm. that's where he gets a lot of that yes. from. Like you won't get better physical comedy than yes. that. Yes, so that's taking it back and everything. You got you can take it back to Three Stooges. You can go to guys like Will Ferrell. You can even uh, I will also put uh, Ben Stiller at that time. Uh, early in his career, yeah, yeah, yeah. Early in his career, you say Ben Stiller. Mm. I can't, you know, I'm trying to think of more. It's really not a lot. It's not a lot that like it's sold in it. Like, yeah. like you did. You don't get a gym. You don't get a uh, Will Ferrell. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't get those the, that great physical comedy that doesn't that doesn't just makes it look stupid. Right. It, they they know that balance and everything. It's their tendency to hurt, injure, or otherwise maim themselves just doing their jobs. <laughs> Welcome to the first meeting of complete self defense for women. Bob Jackson, karate instructor, was no exception. He always seemed to get pushed to the brink of mortal injury. In Jackson's self-defense class for women, he ends up getting stabbed by one of his students. I'm fine. I shifted my internal organs to avoid the knife. Carrie's over-the-top reaction absolutely works within the realm of the character's larger-than-life persona. You see, you're still bending your elbows. Is that Kim Fields in the back? Yeah. You've got to keep your arm completely straight. Oh. Mm. That's right. the whole key. Number seven. Yes. Head ah, head gets head on the case. The laws of physics are thrown out the on. window for this hilarious procedural parody involving a different sort of detective. A uh, head detective, in fact. Damon Wayans plays a short gum shoe that only has a head with tiny feet and arms. And, well, that's about it. Why do I always have to wear the disguise? Because you're the best. You're the mm. master head. I mean, who's the department going to get? Me? A lesser sketch comedy show might take this ridiculous premise and only rely on physical comedy bits. Mm. Luckily, yeah, this, this not living color funny, writers knew exactly what to parody about the classic crime stories to make the head detective sketches take themselves just seriously enough to be smart and funny. Just go check out the back. I'll keep an eye on things here. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We, we need a, a code word that you can yell if you get in trouble. How about... Help, you idiot. It's a funny as Wayne. the show and audience suspend their disbelief about the gag and enjoy the side-splittingly hilarious head detective. Looks like the game's over, huh, Chief? I just want to know one thing. Why'd you frame me? I had to. Number oh, six, um... the Headleys. In this world, there's the average hardworking American family, and then there's the Headleys. I quit 15 jobs and I don't have time for your foolishness when I come home. I'm tired, dummy. This could have been his own show. Yeah. Listen, you think you the only one work hard? I got nine jobs myself, you know. Is I have to do all the cooking and the cleaning and the washing around here, not to mention the welding. This family is notorious Whoa. for working a ridiculous amount can't of jobs. It. They also can't fathom the shame when their daughter, Margaret, starts dating a boy with gasp. I forgot only she was part of this. This was like the, no, maybe the last... Well, the last season, season or one before that? Yeah. One job. Never found her funny. <laughs> one job. One job. This may seem like a one-note premise. However, the In Living Color cast nails it as usual thanks to their commitment to the characters. The fact that the Headley sketch wasn't Dude just don't one get it. done was a testament to you the fact... You don't get the, the whole thing about Jamaicans having a bunch yeah. of jobs. That, that's really a thing. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the, that's that's, the that's gag. That's the premise for the that's thing. That's the gag of it. Yeah. Right? Thing. The Jamaicans are known for having a lot of jobs. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. We're not putting them in a box. No. Nah. But shout out... <laughs> you, you know I know. Like, you know... It's love. It's I'm love. just not committing to saying they always have a lot of jobs. <laughs> you <laughs> you got, take that heat you. if you want. All right, I got you. <laughs> the viewers want to see... How the family was getting by week after week. How long will he be off his feet? Off his feet? That's what got him here in the first place. He had a hemorrhoid the size of a coconut on his behind. Hey. What do you prescribe? I prescribe 10 jobs. 10 jobs? That's right. 10 jobs a day. Keep a doctor away. <laughs> Number five. Anton right. Jackson. This used to be disgusting Every sometimes. member of the yeah. Wayans family came up well, he with played it recurring well. characters mm. and sketches for us to enjoy. That Dan Wayans was particularly yes, great at yes. coming up with the iconic Anton Jackson, a homeless man with a very memorable way of speaking. My name is Anton, and this is my house. 
slash bathroom slash kitchen slash backyard mm. slash library. His unique take on the character was able to fit easily in a bunch of different hilarious scenarios. We saw him appear everywhere from Thanksgiving dinner to a military recruitment office. I don't have time for this. I'm in the middle of a rapid deployment. Well, I'm in the middle of unemployment. Anton even <laughs> takes a jab at home improvement shows along the way. While he may be strange at times, we couldn't help but laugh every time. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jackson, I, I wonder if you wouldn't be so kind as to do the honors with the turkey. Hey, mm. I ain't never done nothing with no turkey before. <laughs> Who told you that, Clarence? He's lying. Number four, <laughs> Black World. Mm -hmm. In Living Color didn't always deal with serious issues, but Black World was one awesome exception. Chrissy! Uh huh? What are you doing? It's crazy I remember this. I'm mm. sitting there. Takiya Crystal Kima led this funny and topical sketch. She plays a little girl who's waiting for her mother to finish cleaning a movie theater so they can go home at last. During the sketch, she presents her fantasy land of Black World to the audience. Black World, all oh, the black people have the money. And, and, and your mother doesn't have to um, sit and stay up in the theater and clean up late at night while you have to sit and wait and be quiet. And Kima uses <laughs> this construct to reference some of the daily struggles faced by the black community. She also juxtaposes one group those hardships with an ideal society don't put this on here, I'm a rant about it. And okay. acceptance. That's, it's that's a sketch that pulls because it is not. It wouldn't be accepted in today's time. As much I'll now it. as it did back in season one. Oh, and, and when you go to the store, um, the white people don't follow you around and ask you if you have some money. Like they know you don't have any money because your mother didn't give you any money because she not have any money. Number three. There you go. All, Here we go. Okay. Our next right. entry is as controversial now as it was upon its debut in the very mm -hmm. first episode of In Living Color. Men on, starring David Allen Greer and Damon Wayans as Antoine. Merriweather and Blaine Edwards. <laughs> Three words. Fab you love. Them. Boy, I hope I look that good when I'm 40. They both played into stereotypes of gay men while reviewing movies and other subjects on a weekly basis. The pair's rating Football system head. and the witty <laughs> repartee between Wayans and Greer were a hit with viewers at the time. And you know, I found that those padded shoulders were just too Joan Crawford. Mm -hmm. And think, and speaking of old fish, <laughs> what about Bro, this? That's what I was about to say. That's why I loved it so much. Hey yeah. them. However, the men's performances, while good, still strike a nerve among many thanks to mm -hmm. how gay men were perceived then and how they still are today. Well, our next piece is truly a work of art. Yes, it is. It's Michelangelo's Statue of David. <gasps> Gasp and swoon. I just caught the vapors. Number two, <laughs> Fire, Fire Marshal Marshall Bill. Bill. Fire Marshal Bill was arguably one of Carrie's best loved breakout characters yeah. from his tenure on In Living Color. I know what you're thinking. We're all perfectly safe in this classroom, right? <laughs> right. right. Wrong. This firefighter was similar to Carrie's Bob Jackson character in that he was always on the receiving end of some kind of disaster by the sketch's climax. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope he's okay! Damn. Never better! In Bill's case, however, his damage was usually far more explosive and even more exaggerated than the karate instructors. Yep. Carrie's character also boasted his own witty catchphrase. Let me show you something right before oh, things gosh. went haywire. Just let him say it. Did you know Please. that deep sea fishing is the number one cause of cruise ship casualties? Let me show you something! This is one of the sketches that didn't need an elaborate setup. Every time Fire Marshal Bill rolled in, we were ready to laugh. Before we name our number one pick, right, here's another so, round of... I'm thinking number one. Gotta be homie. Homie Clown? Yeah. Yeah, gotta even be. though I got, I got something I wanted, but homie Clown, I'm going for homie Clown, too. All right. So I'm, I'm definitely have my rant then. Okay. Home the clown. Let's see what they got in these honorable mansions. Honorable mansions that had you crack it up back in the day. Velma Mulholland, <laughs> a film noir dame out of time. Uh, may I see your license, please? So you want to play rough, do you? Sure, copper. I've got nothing to hide. You can, you don't Read get it this in no week. Make a Death Wish Foundation. Charles Bronson makes dreams come true. Can I kick the ball, Mr. Bronson? I'd like to see someone try to stop you. Oswald Bates and Barbara Bush. Booked on phonics, worked for him. Thank you, Mrs. Bush. Before I could read, I was forced to rob convenience stores. Oh, who's the one? But they, uh, 
the three boxes living in the house. So Mike Tyson, somebody's Muhammad Ali. What, what yeah. was that? Oh, oh, was it Larry Holmes? I forgot that. I think it was Larry Holmes too. Yeah. That that I mean, should have been on here. Yeah. <laughs> they, you know, this is watch Mojo sometimes. But True. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Maybe maybe they going for like. But no, they did. They, they had reoccurring sketches yeah. with those three. I, said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they done. I don't know. In the literacy program, a whole new world has been opened up to me. Embezzlement. <laughs> the wrath of Farrakhan. <laughs> Bill I remember Shatner, this. Eat your heart out. What do you want? <laughs> I've come to warn your crew, warn warn your your crew, crew. of their enslavement, enslavement aboard this vessel. Before we continue, oh, I'm gonna be. To oh, I got a ring. We might oh. just find a different video in the future with a bunch of different videos. sketches. Yeah, do it that way. Occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Homie the clown. Number one. Yep. Homie the clown. Mm -hmm. We're willing to bet that you've never met an entertainer as unpredictable as Homie the clown. Homie, 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 homie. <laughs> Played to comedic perfection by Damon Wayans, this clown was actually a criminal serving out his debt to the community. Unfortunately, he seemed to have a really short fuse when it came to the people he was supposed to entertain. What y'all want me to do first? Oh, 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 Myself, they were huh? great actors. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> get on homie's bad side and boom. An unwilling guest will get hit upside the head with a tennis ball and a sock. Wayne's catchphrase, homie don't play that, caught on almost immediately. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> homie don't play that. That's all right, Hobie Jr. I know a very nice white family that would be all too thrilled to have a little son. Everyone wanted to hear him say those legendary words as he mm -hmm. tried his best to grin and bear the sentence of his work release program. Do you agree with yeah. our picks? Check out this mm, other. They're all good. There's they're no good. bad ones. It's just, it's just. I think they missed. I, I, I would say they missed two. A fucking handyman not to be on that list. True. True. That may be as much controversial as the hated it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Handyman should have definitely been on that list. Mm. And another one. I think Wanda should have been in the list somewhere. Yeah. I think yeah. Wanda should have been in the list somewhere. Definitely. So like, you talk about the funny reoccurrence and everything. For us to be '90s kids. These are the ones that stuck in our minds and everything. Mm -hmm. Handyman stuck in our minds. Wanda, uh, of course, Homie, Fire Marshal Bill. These are the characters that stuck in our mind. And even if you want to put in songs, uh, <laughs> man, I could go through it with songs and everything. Shabba! <laughs> Mr. Wayne, Ugly yeah, Man. Marlon Wayne's doing Shabba. Listen, and then you had um, Kim Wayne's doing... Uh, <laughs> da -da -dee, da -da -da. <laughs> like, just... The comedic genes of like you could really do a top twenty easily. Yeah, it should have been. That, that should definitely should have been a top twenty. Yeah, watch Mojo. Listen to us. Yeah, do like I said 20. though, we may do a video in the future. Maybe we may put our own get, Twist, top yeah. things together, man. There so, you go, man. Look out. Let us know in the comments, man. Did they get it right? Yeah. If you guys have something that we didn't even mention. Make sure you put it down below in the comments. There you go, man. But we about to be out of here. Look down below for that countdown as well as everything we got going on for my merch, our socials, and our Patreon for exclusive content. Make memories, stay humble, live life, swagging and waggy. Just then, we out.